seven minutes left. Talk about what that what happened with that. Well, can, I, when I was in politics, one of the things that I really tried to draw attention to was this Canadian Wheat Board. The Canadian Wheat Board actually could, took control of the farmer's ability to buy and sell products. It took, uh, they, they dictated wh- where it could be sold. It couldn't cross provincial lines without certain conditions. And so, the, and then they would buy the grain at maybe half the market world market price. The Canadian Wheat Board would would give the farmers a price, and if the world price was three fifty, they might give them two dollars. And then over time, they would say, "Well, depending on conditions, we might allocate you some bonuses." So they would take, they would decide whether you got a bonus and how much the bonus was. But basically, the Canadian farmers were forced to sell their grain to the federal government for about half what the world market was was paying for the products. And uh, and it was an extremely powerful department. And over time, they, you know, they've lost that power. But the other thing was the crow rate, where they were forcing uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan. The farmers had to pay to move the product from Alberta to the manufacturing center in Ontario, Quebec. And then in turn, when the products were finally completed, the farmers had to pay to have the product sent back. And so they were paying the freight on all of those products going both ways. And, you know, that was, that's the inequity of the system. That's just one of the serious inequities of the system. But before I go, I want to give you something you might want to check into. We yeah. are talking about health care. Yeah. Do you remember MSI? Do you remember the product called MSI? No, I do 